Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you all how to draw a coffee mug using color pencils. The things you will need is a pencil, color pencils, a sheet of paper to draw, and a white gel pen. Let's start with the sketch. For the sketch, you want to start by drawing a circle. You can either do this by using a compass or by using a circular tool. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and draw another circle inside of it to create the rim of the coffee cup. Now you can draw the handle once you're done. After you're done drawing the outline for the coffee cup, you can start adding the outline for the actual coffee. Once you're done with that, you're completed with the sketch. Now you can start with the coloring. First you want to start with a light gray. Here I'm using Tonger's gray. And you want to add a little shading to the coffee cup. Make sure your color pencils have a sharp tip to get the best results. In case you want to burn it, you can use a white color pencil. Here I'm using a white glass marking pencil. Once you're done with that, start adding darker tones of grey to increase the shadow of your coffee mug. Once you're done with that, you're complete with the coloring for the mug. Now let's start with the coffee. For the coffee, use a really dark shade of brown and just outline all of the details and color them in. to add more detail. Now use yellow ochre to fill in the whole space. Now go ahead and add other colors to increase the shadow and brightness of the drawing.
Now use a white gel pen to add highlights. If you don't have a white gel pen, you can also use paint. Once you're done with that, you're completed with your drawing. If you want, you can add a shadow or you can add a background to your picture. Now how I did this is use a light grey color first and then use white to blend it. Then I use a darker shade of grey to add more shadow. This is the simplest way to do it to the background. If you want to add more detail, you can give more colors onto the background. For that, I just used a dark brown color to add lines in the background. Once you're done with that, you're completed with your drawing. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. I'll see you all in my next video with another fun and creative art idea. Bye!